V. Berg. I might as well upload a video, I guess, days later because uh, I'm dealing with a situation. Um, as my videos show it. <clears throat> but, um, I visited my mom at hospice. That's how you pronounce it, I guess, hospice. Today at some home, uh, and let's just say my mom is probably going to die at any moment. Um, she was happy to see me when I went in. Um, and I, I was struggling to want to see my mom because of her, the way she looks, and but I couldn't do that. So I guess I made my mom's day. Um, I just had to, I had to do it, and I got a phone call Wednesday. A um, couple days ago, saying your mom has a couple days to live, and I just didn't want to go. I just didn't want to see her because it 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 hurts. It hurts to see the woman who held you for nine months and. You're never going to see this person again. And I know it's like... I, I don't know. It's just... It's crazy. Especially since my mom did a lot for me. And... Um, I've just been extremely sad. Hurt. And... It just sucks that my mom is... the way she is um I'll probably put a picture right here <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's what my mom looks like it's not pretty um but I know, I, I know a lot of people are like, why did you have to post a picture of your mom like that? And it's like, well, I have to make my point across to prove I'm not bullshitting you guys. Um, I, I still tell my mom to still try to fight, stay strong try to eat because my mom is super super thin she's just bones she has no meat on her she has nothing on her she's just all bones and her face is literally sucked in and it's just like her her teeth is popping out and she's just, it, it's it's not something and it just like i said it sucks it's it sucks to see the person who held you for 9 months end up in a situation like that um it's someone who took care of you I know everybody's different. Everybody has like a dad and a grandma, grandpa, or a family member, uncle, and whoever in your life. Um, we all go through it. Um, it's just it's it's sad to look at. Um, and like I said, my channel is always going to be 
machines because I say that the only way to cure cancer and any other disease to me is basically um, nano machines nanotechnology and that's micro robots um I can't say much of medicine because medicine doesn't work and the chemo wasn't working for my mom. It just totally shut her down and now my mom is literally gasping for air. And she's and when I talk to her, she she hears me but she's not focused. She's looking in the distance sometimes she snaps out of it but she's mostly like I could see that she's like how can I say it sleeping with her eyes open she's just blank and sometimes I have to ask her are you okay are you okay and she shakes her head yes but um, she can't talk. My mom can't talk. I mean, she could talk, but it's, it's so hard to understand her. And just hearing that, and, and when she does talk, it's only a couple words. It's like two words. Like two or, th like three tops. Like, I would say like, uh, did you like that? And she'd be like, like she she whimper talks she does a and then i hear her breathing and it's just I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but I did make my mom's day this when I saw her. Because as weak as she is, she did put her arms up in an excitement. Because I haven't seen my mom since before Christmas and because it's so hard like literally days before Christmas and she wasn't as bad as she is right now and I guess she was just maybe she's holding on waiting for me and It's crazy. I mean, it's crazy. But, uh... If my mom goes, I'm gonna miss her. And I know my mom wants me to move on. Because she always says that. And I've told her stuff like this all the time. And I get in arguments with my mom when, before all this. And she's like, well, Colin, that's part of life. You, you, you're you going to die. And you shouldn't be sitting around, moping around, even if I were to die. Life moves on. Um... <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> 
it, it sucks, but it is. I mean, it, it's, it is. You can't just sit around and mope around. Um, you have to be strong and you have to move forward. Um, but yeah, um, it just sucks to see someone that took care of you in love and now their life is coming to a close and uh I know I'm sorry I'm getting emotional it's just it's my mom you know it's kind of like uh the like I I don't know if I said this in a video um, but, uh, it's like the scene in the Silent Hill movie, <laughs> uh, mother is God in the eyes of a child, which is kind of true, because, you know, kids look to their moms more, because moms are, you know, comforting, they're, uh, they're there for you. And, uh, they help you out, you know? You know, dads are mostly the, you know, tougher ones on you. But the moms are always going to be, you know, the calmer ones. You know, some people have a different outcome with their family members but most of the time it's moms that are the the comforting ones to their kids but i hugged my mom i kissed her hand and uh i told my mom to stay strong and it's all in here use the brain the brain is complex and your your body may be weak but your mind isn't and i said that to my mom because the brain isn't really the weak thing it's the body that ends up get a weak can my mom recover <laughs> that would be a miracle and I sincerely mean that would be a miracle. Um, but yeah. If my mom goes. I have to keep moving forward. Um, and I still want to make this channel what I want to do. Um, a future ristic futuristic channel I mean I can't do anything now but maybe I'll play some games just to draw people to me and uh, I might do some other stuff but right now um, it's gonna be a I might post in a little, or in a couple days, maybe Monday, I, I'm not too sure, but uh, I'm dealing with a lot right now, and I'll let you guys know. Other than that, um, thanks for watching and understanding, and... The only thing I can do is wish for the best and stay strong. Thank you, guys. Take care. Let me um, add one more thing. Uh, 
as much as I didn't want to see my mom in this position that she was in, I'm actually glad that I did went to see my mom. Because my mom was asking about me. Um, you know, like, where's my son? You know, and... <laughs> it's... it's Yeah, it, it's crazy. And then, like I said, when I went there, my mom actually moved her hands like that in shock that I showed up. And she started to tear up a bit, and then she tried to hug me. So, it's kind of a good feeling. Um, but I guess she used enough strength to do that. And uh, just like the picture I showed in the video, that's all she does. She has no strength. So, she did have the strength to at least try to hug me. But other than that... When I was talking to her, she couldn't move her hands or anything. She was twitching, and her muscle would just, like, you know, do that. But what you see in the picture is her mouth open, and she's just looking forward. Occasionally, I would see her eye move, because she would see, like, something move in the room, like my sister's daughter... Uh, but other than that, it's, it's very minimum. That's what this cancer has done to my mom. It's basically stole her personality, her appetite, everything. Um, but <laughs> I didn't even want to go. I didn't want to go and see my mom, but I f made the best decision to go. Um, cause it made my mom happy and maybe she was, like I said, holding on so she can see me. Um, I don't know what's going to happen and Tomorrow, I don't know what's going to happen in a couple days. Um, but my mom literally is on her last breath. And that's what sucks. So. Because I'm looking at her and she's not breathing. She's... She's breathing, but not very minimum. And then she has to gas for air. She can't move that well. She can't do anything. It's like, it's, she's just there. And it sucks. And I hate it. So... Whatever outcome happens, I, I want her to heal. I don't think my mom's ready to go. My mom even said that. Um, I want my mom for at least four more years. And I know people have said, why four more years? Well, it's not just four more years. I mean, of course, I would like it longer, but... Four more years, I can do so much like me on YouTube and try to build up and grow and do things on here or on kick and try to build on kick or something so I can make more money and who knows, I can have a better funeral for her, I can have a... Uh, I can do things more with my mom before she goes, um, but I can try to make up for my laziness, <laughs> just 
being honest. <laughs> um, but I'm like I said, I'm glad I went to see my mom. I made her day. And I kissed my mom's hand and twice and gave her a hug before I left. And I just told her, stay strong. The brain is complex and so forth. Um, I know. <sighs> and I'm trying to hang in there right now. Um... But, like I said, nanotech, to me, can help a lot. I mean, we rely on technology and machines all the time, and I said this. And that's why I'm so upset with humans, because humans don't see this. Um, a lot of humans do, um, which is good. But we humans, we can't, we can't do much, and it, you know, like, we need help, and that's why machines. Let me just put it this way: my mom's on oxygen, so that's actually helping my mom stay alive. That's what I'm saying. Machines is helping people stay alive longer. It's the machine. That's helping you breathe much, much more. And that's when I see my mom. If she didn't have this oxygen around her nose and so forth, my mom would have been gone probably days ago. And that's the thing. When you have oxygen on you, it kind of helps you. Um, that's what I'm saying. It, machines is helping. I just want to take it one step further with artificial intelligence or artificial super intelligence, nanotechnology, have micro robots get inside your body and start operating. It's little micro machines literally working to destroy cancer cells, to remove and eliminate it, zap it away. And we have the ability to do all this stuff. And you, you're shaking the camera, Serana. So, <sighs> but yeah, I'm glad I saw my mom today. I made her day. And I think that's a good thing. better than not making someone's day I don't want to keep my mom waiting and that's another thing that went in my head is because I know that would bother her knowing that I didn't show up and I kept her waiting and then she died knowing I didn't be there for her so today was a good day well Saturday <laughs> around four or five was a good day other than that um that's my cat going off <laughs> serana um yeah i'll probably have more to say but i'm just happy i saw my mom and that's good other than that Thank you guys for watching, and, uh, yeah. Again, I hope no one goes through this, and hopefully I can get somewhere, and maybe I can start working on my stuff. Um, yeah. Thank you. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Take care.